What's up, Bouncy Babes? My room is a mess. I hope you are doing well. It's your girl Joy back with another finger. I'm tired, y'all. <laughs> Look, I'm squeezing this one out for the team. It is Friday. Don't know when it's gonna get up. I'm backed up on vlogs or videos, whatever you want to call them, okay? But with school and work, the activities with the girls, it's been something every day. It's like I don't vlog for a living, <laughs> so it's not like I could just pump them out. Some weeks are more hectic than others. It is almost 10 o'clock at night, just now getting settled. So it's like I'm exhausted on Friday, and I slept through every 4.30 alarm. I didn't do well this week. That's okay. Tomorrow's a brand new day. Go check on Bobby. Um, I've been, I tried to tell Bobby to hold out for her life update. So let's go see what she's doing. You know I was in here? Yeah. How'd you know? Because I heard you. You heard what? You just can't see it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, that was a fail. Okay, Bobby. We want to hear about your day today, Bobby. If you want to do this tomorrow, we can do it tomorrow. So Bobby had, she wore my outfit, she wore my clothes today, y'all. So what happened at school today? Well, as you know, if you watched the previous video. Yeah, girl. Mm -hmm. So what happened, Bobby? So they called you down for your interview. Um, so they called me down for my interview and i'm sitting well i'm there waiting because the person who was before me had already finished and so then my counselor who was like running this thing was like she was like all right sign in for me right here so i just signed my name and everything she was like okay you ready and then she opened the door and i walked in Shook their hands. The interview went good. Well, the interview went well. And I'm listening. The interview went well. What What did they ask you? The interview went well. It was... I didn't really... They didn't ask me very many questions. They kind of just... They asked me what some of the stuff was that was related to the program and what I knew about the program but other than that they really didn't ask me any questions but they did ask if I had any questions so she um, walked in so what did they notice when you walked in well because I was wearing my heels she was prop Bobby was probably at six three maybe six two six two six three right and so I mean it because in my essay I had read an essay for this I said she stayed up to two o'clock in the morning doing that essay we argued over two sentences for maybe an hour two sentences <laughs> yeah and they they immediately noticed how tall I was they were like wow now I know why you wrote about basketball in your essay because I look so tall and then 
because I played basketball, one of the other ladies who was interviewing me also played basketball when she was younger. So we talked about basketball a lot in the interview, honestly. That was probably, I'd say, 40% of the interview was oh just about word. basketball. And so she made a connection. And sometimes when you interview, it's about the connections that you make too. And so that was, I guess, her connection, part of it. Yeah, so it was really like... What was me, that one question they asked you if you knew about something? Oh, they asked me if I knew about the organization that oversees and sponsors Girl State. And I knew a little bit about it, but my friend had told me that I needed to know that. So thank so you. So she confirmed that you had to know that? Yes. And what is the organization that runs it? The American, um, the American Legion Auxiliary or something, Auxiliary, something like that. I really don't know. It's ALA. But um, they asked me a lot if I had any questions. And I know from like research when I was like applying for this job that you're supposed to always ask a question when they ask you if you have any questions. Me, How long was your interview? It was probably 15 minutes. Okay. It was short. But um, to me it was like, it wasn't so much an interview. It was like, I was just trying. Like I was honestly just being myself. It didn't feel like an interview. Because they made it like really, like a really comfortable situation mm -hmm. so i didn't really feel like an interview and they probably knew a lot about you from your essay oh they asked you about your grades oh yeah they they just noticed how i where i was in my class and so they were like how do you they were asking me how i do it like how i maintain my grades and play basketball and so and what how did you respond to that I just said how, like, you know, at the end of the day, I got to do what I got to do. So if I know that I'm going to be playing basketball late one night, then I know that, like, my education also has to come, like, into play at a certain point. So I have to, you know, prioritize. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, if it's going to be a late night, it's going to be a late night. Yeah. So what they say about your mother, girl? <laughs> they... They had asked me, like, about, like, my family. So, I told them how I have two siblings. And, like, she was like, oh, y'all are really close. Like, I was like, yeah, we're all 18 months apart. And then, at the end of my interview, she said, well, tell your mom she's done a wonderful job with you. And I was like, hmm. Well, Bobby, you've done it all yourself. You're the one who stays up late. All I can do is, you want some water, Bobby? Not even. <laughs> <laughs> then at the end of my interview, she said that we would find out whether we made it or not. And then she was asking, like, if you did get accepted, like, would you be oh, able to? Oh God. Would you be able to um, provide your own transportation, like, getting there? And then she said you would need, that I would need to come up with $425. Oh, I don't got that. I don't got that $425. Go ahead. She said I would have to come up with that amount of money, but it can't be from my parents. It had to be from a sponsor. Like it had to be from grandparents, uncles, aunts, brothers, sisters. You got all your aunties and uncles out there and cousins. And or like companies if they were willing to sponsor you. So, but that had that money had to be in, has to be in by Monday. Who got who got who doing all that? But so I was like, she was like, would you be able to do that? I was like, yeah, yeah, for sure. But in my back of my head, I said I have no idea how I'm gonna do that because. <laughs> We don't really have any family like other people do, but, um. Oh, Lord, don't let Tina hear you say that. 
<laughs> well, like much family, like as big as a family as some yeah. people have. Like we have a pretty small family compared to like my friends that I have. But, um, so she said that we would get called down to the counselor and find out whether we made it or not. And so in my sixth period, my teacher got a phone call and she was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay, okay. And she walked over to my desk. She was like, my counselor, or not my counselor, the counselor would like to see you in her office. I was like. But you knew what it was. Well, yeah. Okay. And so I was like, okay. So I left class and I went to my count the counselor's office and I walk in and she was like, do you want the good news or the bad news? And immediately I was like, oh my God, I didn't get in because she said bad news. Mm -hmm. And she kind of had that face and she was like, so I was like, Ugh. And so then she like looked at me for a while with this like sad face on and I was like, oh my gosh, all this work for nothing. Walk around oh, in heels. the late night. Walk around in heels at school for nothing. But she looked cute though, boo. People was loving your outfit. Yeah. Okay, so go ahead. And so she was like, <laughs> I'm just kidding. You got in. And I was like. <laughs> she got in but what about that $425 okay yeah she was like you got in you were their number one choice oh! and what does that mean Bobby so okay go ahead your story okay so they were like <laughs> I was their number one choice for like out of the I'm not sure how many people applied I mean how many people interviewed today but only six people got accepted and then there were two people who my school is going to sponsor and since I was their first pick my school is paying for me to go oh! Oh, the four hundred twenty-five dollars. Okay. Not the hotel stay. No. This okay, so go ahead with the other part. Well, I think my hotel, not yours. Okay. Because I have to pay for like the the program. And the school is paying for it. Cause I was like, I don't have no four hundred twenty-five dollars. And then here comes her coach. Because she signed up for AAU and I didn't know it was going to be fast, fast, fast. There's like, oh, you got to practice on mandatory practice parent meeting on Sunday and you got to bring your money and you got. I'm like, I'm like, the end of the month is rough, y'all. It's rough. You, you know, that's when you got rent, mortgage, and all those. <laughs> Ow. Anyway, so when she was like that $425, I was like, oh my God, I just paid this rent. I, ooh, we'll work it out, Bobby. I was like, we could work it out. We'll work it out. But she wasn't finished with her story, so she dragged me along with the story, just like she dragged you guys along, okay? And then she was like, oh, I was first pick, and the school is paid for. I was like, thank you, Jesus. Well, So when do you go to um, Austin? That's the last day of the the week. What? It's like I don't I don't know all the details. What do you mean the last day of the week? It's like because we go to the the capital. The last day of the fourteenth and twentieth. Like on the twentieth, we'll go to Austin. Of when? Of June. So you go in June? Yeah. 
Well, we'll be in Austin for, she'll be in Austin for a week. We'll be in Austin for a week. In June. And that's like the month we have off for basketball. Well, guys, we want to share that news with you. Right? We're proud of Bobby. Well, she did that thing, guys. She did that thing. You go, girl. You're going to be a superstar, Bobby. You're going to be all right. She's going to be all right. Right, y'all? And I, I apologize a little, a little tired. Yeah, she's tired. It's 11 o'clock at night. I am tired. I had this stuff up in a bun. I had to take it down. Be itching. Wherever I have it up in a bun, it seems like it itches right underneath it. Does that happen to you? Like it itches right underneath. Anyway, um, I'm going to lay down with my bed, y'all. My happy place. But I'm proud of you, Bobby. You did that thing. You know what it was. It was my outfit that got you the position. Girl, I could have showed up in sweatpants. I don't think so. It was the whole package. It was your essay. She stayed up to 2 in the morning with the essay. Your preparedness. Your grace. Your class. How you carried yourself. It's a whole package, okay? And you went there and you served them honey. First pick. That's what I'm talking about. And paid for. But now I have to commit to a whole week of hanging out in Austin. I don't mind. It's all good. I can relax in the hotel. So we have to plan well in advance for that. Mm -hmm. So if anybody knows any spots for me to hit up in austin i will not be going to ut i graduated from ut at austin it was too hot you remember we did that what if i want to go to ut we did that it's hot well maybe we can schedule a tour yeah but i probably don't start that <laughs> whatever <laughs> whatever ut doesn't take anybody no like i won't get into ut anyway i'm not listening to your your negative talk it's not negative it's all right guys we're gonna we're gonna i'm gonna cash out now and take my butt to bed okay because i'm gonna you gonna spend class tomorrow nope why bobby good for you <laughs> she spilled her water why are you not gonna spend class because i don't want to <laughs> you don't want to get <laughs> tore up that's what it is huh no i just don't feel like it I, it's gonna make you feel great no i have too much to do and i don't want to be tired all day no it's gonna energize you excuse me no i don't want i don't want to all right all right guys give this video a thumbs up tell bobby how proud you are of her you know, because you guys are the aunties, uncles, and cousins, and little sissies. Yeah. I couldn't be prouder. Come on, Michelle Obama. Anything is possible, baby. Yes. Earn it. We're going to put it in the universe. Go on, little Michelle. Yes. <laughs> Alright guys, we love you. She's gonna go night night now. You tired, Bobby? Yeah. Alright, and I'm gonna go lay in my bed, my new happy place. I love you guys. Give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I don't care. I'll talk to all five of y'all. Y'all know I'll talk to y'all to death. That's alright. That's alright. All five of y'all. Just say how proud you are. Our little Bobby. Okay. Alright, Bobs. <laughs> Good job. Say goodnight. Night.